Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at how to calculate the percentage yield. Okay, yield is just a, another word for product, the amount we make. So this is working out the percentage amount that we have made in a chemical reaction. And the best way to show you this is to give you uh, an example with some numbers in there to help us work this out. So we need to know, understand two values. We need to know the theoretical yield. Theoretical yield is the amount we could make if the reaction worked 100 uh, percent, 100 percent. So this is the most you can ever make. So the theoretical yield for this reaction here says we should make 24 grams of the product. The actual yield is the amount that we did make, and the actual yield is always less. We'll come to why in a minute, but the actual yield when the students did this was 18 grams. And the question says, what is the percentage yield? How much, uh, how successful, if you like a way of thinking about this, is this reaction? To do this, we use this equation. So the percentage yield, we take the actual yield, divide it by the theoretical yield, and then times by 100%, so we end up with the final answer as a percentage. So if we do the substitution, so the actual yield in our example was 18, the theoretical yield was 24, so we've got 18 um, times by 100, uh, sorry, 18 divided by 24 times by 100 is 75%. So in this case, this means that the percentage yield was 75%, Therefore, seventy-five percent um, of what we achieved is what we uh, of what we could have achieved. Okay, so this is seventy-five percent success, if you like. We should have got twenty-four. We got eighteen. Seventy-five percent success. This figure is always going to be less than one hundred. Why is it always going to be less than one hundred? Three reasons. Um, first reason is that during a chemical reaction, you could lose the reactants or products; they could escape, and therefore your percentages that you achieve will be less. You could get reactions that are incomplete. So if you want uh, chemical A to make chemical B, not all of chemical A might react, and therefore you get less of chemical B, and therefore your percentage will drop. Unwanted side reactions might be, might be good to show you what this means. So you might want chemical A and B to go together to make C, but during the reaction, chemical A goes off down here, and it reacts with chemical E and it makes chemical F, okay? And therefore, this is an unwanted reaction because we're making a different chemical than the one we wanted. So those are three reasons why the percentage yield is always less than 100%.